This is a vegan fried chicken, but look at this texture, it's crazy. What? Let me show you what I've ordered from Nando's Vegan Edition. As you know, I'm doing Veganuary. To start, I have the hummus with the very very drizzle and you get these flatbreads with it, 100% vegan. Then for the main, we've got spicy rice, the peri peri chips, and the new um, pea protein plant-based wrap. Also got some garlic bread as well, which is 100% vegan, very tasty, delicious. Here is my vegan roast dinner. So this is the roll I got from Asda. It tastes incredible. I've already had some of it. We've got mashed potato. It has got butter in it, but it's vegan butter. Got some cabbage, carrots, sweet corn and peas. Let's give it a try. Also, vegan gravy on top or vegetarian gravy. It's, yeah, you, you get what I mean. Mashed potato. Cabbage. Carrot. Mmm. Peas and corn. And the vegan roll. Oh, hey, Shay Shay! Mmm. <laughs> and we all have this for dinner, and the kids are all tucking into it. Jobs are good. Shell Chef Boy! Grab yourself a butternut squash and cut it into slices. Drizzle that with olive oil, then add chili flakes, oregano, and a pinch of salt, then mix that all together. In the oven, 220 minutes. Then you're gonna get some freaky! Add the freaky to cold water. Then cook that for 25 minutes on a high heat. Another pan on the heat, bit of olive oil, thinly sliced red onion, green lentils, and kale. Give that about eight to 10 minutes. Chuck the broccoli in with the squash, and give that another 10 minutes. Drain the freaker, and chuck that in with the kale as well. White wine vinegar, toasted sesame oil, agave nectar, tahini, and miso paste. Stir it all together, and that is your dressing. Add some pumpkin seeds for the last few minutes of cooking. Bit of that. Bit of that, add the dressing. Oh, deez. And there is a roasted squash grain bowl with tahini dressing. Hello and welcome to What I Eat Today, Veganuary Day 1. So for breakfast I had two vegan croissants, you can get these from Tesco's or Sainsbury's. I put some flora butter on them, which is vegan, and then put them in the oven for about two minutes. Then I had some herbal tea, this was by Pucker, it was the ginseng matcha green one, it's so so good. While I'm staying in London, my mum does make my dinners for me, so I couldn't show you the process, but we had Linda McCartney pulled chicken and like Brussels sprouts and Vivera bacon and just an all-round roast. We tend to have like a Christmassy type dinner on New Year's Day, so this is what you're seeing right now, and all of it's vegan. And then for dessert, we had trifles with vegan jellies, strawberries, vegan custard, vegan cream. Shell a chef boy! Once your water's boiling, you're gonna chuck your broccoli in, drain the tofu and get as much moisture out of it. In half that way, half each of them that way, and then cut them into cubes. Drain your broccoli. Shell a chef boy! Chuck your tofu into a bowl, and we're gonna mix it with hoisin sauce. Give a nice glug of olive oil to a pan so it covers the base and then get it on the heat. In another pan, we're just going to put a drop of oil and get that on the heat as well. Check the oil is hot enough by putting a wooden spoon in the end. If it bubbles, like that, it's ready. Tofu in that one. Chili, garlic and ginger in that one. Cook the tofu until it's nice and crispy. You're going to flip it over halfway. And then in this pan, you're going to chuck the broccoli in. I think we're ready to plate up, ladies and gentlemen. Finish it with a drizzle more hoisin. Deez. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my vegan crispy hoisin duck. I am going to show you how to make vegan mac and cheese. There are many ways of making it. This is just one of the ways. Ingredients are pasta, any. It doesn't have to be the actual macaroni. Just use what you got. Cashew nuts. Don't get the salted ones. Just get just plain old cashews. A couple of carrots, some potatoes. Grab yourself some nooch or nutritional yeast. Salt. Pepper and garlic. This one is optional. Chop your carrots and potato and boil them till they're cooked. And also cut your pasta too in another pan. In a bowl, add a cup of cashews and cover with hot water. This allows them to go soft. Once your cashews have soaked, put them into a blender like this. Add a good amount of potatoes and carrots. I've not used all of them. I'll eat them later. Add salt, a bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic. 
and then a decent amount of nutritional yeast. Also add some of that pasta water too. Now blitz it up. It should look something like this. Add your sauce to your drained pasta, give it a mix and it'll look as heavenly as that. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Let me show you what I'm having for lunch today. I've got a wrap and I've added my homemade hummer, a couple of my bean burgers, recipe is before this video. I made curried chickpeas, which taste absolutely amazing, got some carrot and onion in there as well. I'm also having homemade wedgies on the side. But this is what it looks like before I wrap it up. So all together, this is what it looks like. I've added a bit of extra hummus on the side for dipping the chips in or wedges and some more of the curried chickpeas. Very easy, very simple and very delicious. Shall the chef boy? Pat on the heat. Tablespoon of olive oil. Chuck in onion and chilli and cook until soft. Once the onion is softened up, you're going to add garlic and chilli. A tablespoon of ground coriander. Two tablespoons of garam masala. Two tablespoons of tomato puree. And half a teaspoon of salt. Then give that a good stir. Adding it to the tomatoes. And a can of chickpeas. And then give that a good stir. Last thing we're going to add is creamed coconut. You can either put a tin in or I use this stuff. So put that in a mug. Add some hot water until it looks like that. Then we're going to add that to the curry. Add some coriander, add a bag of spinach, and let that wilt down. I think we're just about done. Rice on the plate, chickpea curry on top, garnish with coriander. Jeez. And that is a super tasty chickpea curry. If you were on my live, you would have seen I made this veggie or vegan um, lasagna. And this is what it looks like. It looks a bit like it's lopsided um but it tastes absolutely amazing and there's a sauce that we made all of this is vegan because of course i'm doing veganuary just slightly early we've got chips and romaine lettuce to go with it show the chef boy grab yourself a packet of meat free sausages and cut them up into little chunks pan on the heat olive oil sausages in the pan cook them for four or five minutes until they start to go brown and then just stick them in a the bowl to one side in the same pan, chuck some onion and red pepper and a pinch of salt. Cook that for four or five minutes until it softens up. Meanwhile, stock cube in there, fill her up. Once the stock's dissolved, add some tomato puree in. In here, we're gonna go garlic, paprika, and cumin, and mix it up. Tomato stock in, butter beans in. Cover for five minutes to thicken up. Chuck the sausages back in. Chuck a shabbat in the oven to warm up. Stew into the bowl, crispy onions on top, finish with parsley. Jeez. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my meat-free sausage bean stew. It's all mine. I didn't copy anybody. Show the chef boy. Who's ready for the best vegan-friendly snack? Grab yourself two Biscoff biscuits and a jar of Biscoff spread. Lay your biscuits out. Get a teaspoon of that delicious Biscoff and spread it in the biscuit. Once it's spread out on one biscuit, grab the other one and sandwich it on top. Stop it! Who thinks companies should start making them? It's like a bourbon or a custard cream, but better! Oh, jeez. And that is how you make the best vegan treat. Shall chef boy! 300 millilitres of oat milk. One banana. Vegan protein shake. Hmm. Can't say wah hey because it's not way. Woohoo! Whiz it up! <laughs> and there's your vegan protein shake! Oh, hang on a minute. That's better! Jeez! Yes, I have heard of the food chain. Like when a lion kills a gazelle? But we're in 2020 now. We have grocery stores. We have restaurants. Why are we still stabbing animals to death? when we could easily choose another option. So here is my lunch today. I've got tomatoes on toast with this nice bread, Tesco's finest seeded bread, I think it's called. Um, then I've got some nutritional yeast, AKA nooch, salt, pepper, that kind of stuff. But I'm trying out this new um, flora plant butter. Um, as you know, I don't have dairy anyway, so I'm gonna give this a go. Let's taste it. Got a bit of everything on here, but mostly the bread and the butter, because I need to test test it. That is really really nice it's creamy like butter it's everything that you expect butter to be so um i recommend this really good Shall the chef boy preparation is key so i've cut and diced everything here myself and now we are good to go pan on the heat olive oil onion swiss chard stalks and garlic give that a minute then add in the potatoes carrot and swede courgette tomatoes an optional chili 
and lentils. Then season it with turmeric, cumin, and ground coriander. Give it a mix. Then get 500 mils of stock in. Bring it to the boil, cover it, and then turn it down to a simmer until the lentils are cooked. Oh, that is looking good. Lastly, just gonna chuck in some parsley and the leaves of the Swiss chard and let that simmer until the leaves have wilted. That is nicely wilted, so we are good to go. Spoon that into a bowl. Little dollop of coconut yogurt. Garnish with parsley and serve with a nice chunk of sourdough. Deesh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a super delicious vegan soup which you can prep and eat for the rest of the week.